What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 13 of our Python with PyQt for the creation of GUI applications tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about the editor and it's basically a way to add a big old block of whiteness that you can put text in, kind of like what we're programming in. So that's what we're going to be doing here and then we'll talk about how we could save it and then actually how we could open it and all that. And actually we'll probably talk about how we can open it before we talk about saving it. Anyway, that's a couple videos down. So this video, the editor. So what we're going to go ahead and do with this editor is we're going to we'll put it up here. Since this is where uh, we have um, other stuff that are in our kind of file uh, menu, what we're going to add is an editor. So let me move over here. And we're going to say open uh, editor equals qt gui dot q action and then kind of like before where we had this get to the chopper we're going to have uh, ampersand editor and then the obligatory self next up open editor dot set shortcut and this would make sense to be control plus e Next, what we're going to do is open editor.setStatusTip. And that's pretty simple. We'll just do open editor. Finally, open editor.triggered.connect. What is the, uh, what do we want, want to run here? And we're going to run self.editor. So that's basically that. Now what we're going to want to do is go below file menu definitions here. And let's go ahead and do, um, so the main menu we have here. So what we can do is we can do uh, editor menu. And let me just put this on a different line. There we go. Editor menu. That's going to equal main menu dot add a menu. And this will be, um, ampersand editor then we're gonna go editor menu dot add action and that will be open editor awesome so now that we've done that what we have to add is this editor method that we're calling so we're gonna come let's just fix this so we don't have a bunch of lines we come on down. This is the home method. And then we come all the way down. Sorry if that you heard that vibrate. Uh, come all the way down, and basically underneath color picker, we'll add our editor functionality. So what we'll do is define editor. We're going to pass the you know obligatory self, and then we're going to say self dot text edit equals Qt GUI dot Q text edit empty parameters and then self dot set central widget and then self dot text edit. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to basically um, take up the entire application. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see how that works. Okay, so we've got editor, we can click on that, and then we can click editor. And then you can see how it basically took over everything. And so now we can start typing and stuff, and it, it's like, it's, it's an editor. So that's pretty cool, but to be an editor, you probably need to actually, I don't know, edit something, right? So that means we have to be able to open something to edit it. And then after that, we have to be able to like, you know, save it for that edit to be complete. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the coming videos. But that's it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments up to this point, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.